conflagrations engulf the square mile, flames leaping from building to building, consuming banks, offices and London's history as they went. In the centre of it all was Christopher Wren's masterpiece, St Paul's Cathedral. The area around St Paul's was ablaze, and bomb after incendiary bomb was in landing on the cathedral itself. Prime Minister Winston Churchill sent word that St Paul's Cathedral should be protected at all costs, as it would boost morale to save Christopher Wren's masterpiece. Teams of volunteer fire watchers armed with only sandbags and stirrup pumps constantly patrolled the passageways in this vast building, dousing the fires as they started. The most dangerous patrol was on the stone gallery that runs around the famous dome. At about 9 o'clock that night, an incendiary bomb became lodged up on the dome. The roof lead began to melt and fires in the timbers was imminent. American reporters cabled that St Paul's was lost, but suddenly the crisis passed. The bomb slipped down onto the floor of the stone gallery and was put out with a sandbag. St Paul's had survived. <laughs>